All right, it's Europe up time. I'm not on the right page. I don't have to go through rosters, though. We can do this pretty quickly. Uh, last time, I had less to do, and I took longer with North America predictions. Um, I don't know how those turned out. Uh, I'm kind of curious, but uh, you didn't come here to watch me go over my North American predictions and meme on myself for not trusting my own team. You came here to watch Europe. So let's talk about Europe. Carbine Core, Devil Fruit. Who the hell is on Devil Fruit, dude? What the heck? Well, there's only one way to solve this. That is going into the depths of Liquipedia in like true YouTuber fashion. I'm not, you know, this is very... Oh, Steak and Zombie are teamed again? Nice. All right, I'll give them a game then. Bet. I really liked that Giants roster, and I wish they had, you know, been able to do better after the fact. But hey, yeah, Carmine Cole won. Cool. Um, this was the matchup we saw last time, and then Sub pulled off the upset against PSG Tundra. I don't think it's going to happen again. I got PSG Tundra. Although I am going to say it would be really funny because PSG T Tundra's Twitter has been kind of popping off saying how they're like, oh, no, we run into Carmine Core again. It'd be really funny if they lost this match. It's like, we didn't run into Carmine Core. Um, Oxygen Monaco. Um, yeah, I don't I, I should trust, but I don't. I think on my pick stop, I did this and I have Monica and I have Oxygen top six. Um. I just don't think any of these teams are top six worthy. I'll be completely honest. I, I don't rate Oxygen. I don't rate G1. And the fact that one of them is getting top six this event guaranteed, or maybe it's Monaco and Guild, and even less so that I'm getting top six, that's kind of absurd to me. So um, that being said, I'm going to give it to Oxygen because that's what I picked on Pickstop. Um, <laughs> I am so boring. Uh, I, I don't even know who's on Guild. Who's on Guild? I know Monaco's got dying now. Um, Guild has Luis Acro and Gom. Okay, I, th I think I should have known that. Um, fast four-wheel drive. Is that even what it is? Um, oh, Metzenaris. Yay, he's back. Um, he's not taking any games over Team Liquid, though. 3-0. Um, Fufadop back, but Moist is too good. Plus, we're all lining up for El Splashico anyways. Um, speed, I'll give Speed a game. That's giving Zen a game. Um, I'll give speed a game. And then this is upset potential, but I still think BDS is going to be stronger. I'll give it a 3-2. Um, hopefully they put this matchup on the mainstream because I'm very curious to see. Uh, I still have monkeys as a dark... Or I don't still have monkeys as a dark horse because they kind of got bracketed last events, you know, having to face two very solid teams. But they're still a good side, and I, I expect them to do well in the future. Um, hopefully this is the start of that, but not against BDS. Uh, Carmine Core PSG Tundra. It was pretty close. Last time they faced, I think it was a 4 to 2 in favor of Carmine Core. Granted, this is when they were German Amigos. Uh, this is the best of three. Carmine Core is not going to be happy with their fourth place finish, and they're going to come out swinging. I'm going to purchase another 3 1. Um, this is what's known in League of Legends as the Cowards prediction, and I think I am taking that really to heart this event because I have no idea what's happening in this region. Oh, then it's supposedly better than North America. Um, I'll probably witness this in person, but uh, we'll see about that. 3 2. Again, I don't read either of these teams. Um, I think this will be kind of a slugfest and not in a good way. Um, but I guess EU is greater than NA based on public opinion. So this is going to be a fantastic match. This is going to be better than both North American sides. Um, imagine V1 versus FaZe, but infinitely better. Um, Team Liquid versus Moist. El Splash, he got hyped for it. Last time, Moist got up to a 3-0 lead and then re got reverse swept by Liquid. I, I like the cannon, but... I, I like Liquid more. Um, Liquid was my prediction at the beginning of the split where they would kind of fall off and go into fourth, fifth spot, and then they kind of disproved that pretty much instantly, so good on them. Um, I'll give them a 3-2 and a classic El Splashico. Um, that being said, this French matchup is going to be on the mainstream most likely because we're all still living into the Zen hype plus Rise on BDS. Uh, Karis prediction, let's go. All right. Devil Fruit and Sa. Sa is just good. Sa, I've been impressed with. I think... They weren't able to beat Hogan mode, which kind of tough scenes, but Hogan mode had a really good run. Um, but so made Gamers 8, got top 8 last event, so I don't think they'll have much challenge with some Spanish Bim Bam plus an Italian. Is that Italy's flag? Um, Guild versus Monaco. Uh, I like Monaco. This is the old Aogiri roster. I think this is the first time we've seen them in the main event since the Winter Invitational. That is. I think they barely scraped by into the Winter Invitational. I like the squad. They just can't seem to get through close quals. Maybe they're not, you know, as good as they were in the fall, but I still like them over Guild. Uh, 3-0. I got to stop being a coward. Um, Fufadop, 3-0 as well. Yeah, 3-1. I like Metzenars. And then Speed. Oh, I feel bad for Speed. These guys actually cooked in closed quals, by the way. They went 3-0. I think they only dropped one game. I want to give them the respect. I just can't do it. 
I'll give him a 3-2 against Monkeys. I just I just really like that Monkeys team. Um, but yes, yeah, uh, tough draw for Saw. Uh, but yes, is going to destroy him. Uh, Moist going to kind of win. This is not the fall invitational. Um, G1 and Fufidop. Uh, this, this could be an upset. I could see this being the... I, I don't know, though. Like, Fufidop has been actually good for a while. I have no idea how good dying is. I mean, it used to be Juicy, but he got replaced. I don't know where Fufidop is. Before I say, I mean, that guy is French, so that automatically comes with some good... Oh, there's no dying. It's Carson Lasso. I don't even know who half those guys are. Um, I trust Oli. Uh, this is not an unexpected result, though. Uh, PSG Tundra and Monkeys. This this I like. I feel bad for predicting PSG Tundra out here because I do like that side. Um, I think they're really solid. I think they could be a dark horse for Lance still. Um, but but I'm gonna put monkeys here because I I trust the monkeys. I'm not gonna put them. Uh, I'll go three two. I like the monkey squad. I want to see them on Saturday. I hope they make it. This could actually be a monkey if they get past this match. I could see them going pretty far because I like their odds in this match. Um. I'll go Moist BDS. It's kind of unlucky that Moist ran into BDS here. Um, it's Rise versus Joyo, and it's still a best of five. You know what? I'm calling it. The cannon comes out. We're going to see a slightly better Moist, and it, it's, it's going to trigger the panic button for BDS just slightly. They're going to be a little on edge heading into the last regional. That way, First Touch has something to talk about for the two weeks while they can't be like, oh, North America, look at this, because we're going to have a long time without North America. Um I'm going at 3-1. Monkeys. Uh, we see them in best of sevens. Uh, Oxygen, Carmine Core. This is not close. This is not close in the slightest. Um, this could be close. It was 4-3 in the finals. I didn't actually see that finals. Um, you know what? I'm not going to doubt them anymore. They, they've been a top two in Europe. Basically, the entire split, except for the first two events. And even then, they were able to get the top two. Uh, they were get the second seed in fall despite having a very weak first two events so i'll give them the respect i'll have them being the first team to beat vitality um yeah this is this is a smackdown as well um good job moist uh vitality monkeys <laughs> yeah sorry guys it was a good run from monkeys i'm glad i was able to get them into the top six i do respect that side a lot but i keep saying side like i'm british dude i'm the most i'm I'm American, I swear. I swear. Um, Moist Vitality. I'll give Moist three. I'm kind of surprised I just gave him three. But um, Carmine Core Liquid, classic matchup. Uh, Carmine Core is not going to take kindly. I'll give him four, two. Um, and then this time it'll be Liquid favored, or Vitality favored. And so we'll have the Carmine Core Vitality finals. Uh, we didn't get to see this in the finals last time, but it'll be super hyped to see in the finals. We're going to get a banger matchup of the first series. But because we're going to see all these in a row, this is literally 20 games that Vitality will have played, and then they'll be going to the bracket reset, and they won't have the energy. They'll lose the first two, and it'll catapult from there. So we will see the first bracket reset in a while, I believe, um, but Carmine Core will be able to take it from the upper bracket, and that's what I got for Europe. Um, it's somehow been enough time to roll mid-roll ads, despite not being monetized, so hopefully you all enjoyed the lack of ads. Um, very intentional. It's cool. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>